Um, I was uh, part of the panel uh, with Malik and uh, Rajguru and Prabhu interacting with the seniors. The seniors were supposed to fill around with the DC motor model and uh, demonstrate to us and also possibly explain the uh, principle uh, behind that. Uh, I think we had 30, 30 of them, 30 students uh, coming from all over the country. I mean, at the outset, I think I should thank all of them, you know, for coming uh, <clears throat> from all over the country to uh, show us this, uh, whatever experimentation done in uh, DC motor. Um, I think most of them uh, managed to create a little model of the DC motor, fool around with it. Um, they were all in the standards 8, 9, and 10, so, you know. And the understanding of the basic principles varied from student to student, as you could expect in a situation like that. But I think um, uh, you should go back and um, relook at some of those some of those concepts that you told us in light of the comments that the judges made. In particular, this is to all the seniors who did this experiment, please go back and check if there is a current loop, how is the magnetic field direction oriented. I think you should go back and look at your basic physics books. And now, the purpose of this uh, meeting is uh, to inculcate the spirit of uh, scientific inquiry and um, uh, treat, treat science as an adventure and that is the purpose of this meeting and uh, I hope uh, it has uh, ignited some uh, passion uh, in all of you. Uh, you need not wait for events like this to continue to have fun with science. Uh, you can do it throughout the year and if you look around the surroundings there are lots of fun things that are going on and you can uh, actually apply some you know basic physics or basic chemistry to understand that since this is a season of uh, soccer and today is the world cup final i can't help mentioning this i think you know i hope all of you will go back and think about it i think most of you know, well, all of you know that from the penalty corner, there is no direct path to the goal, not to the opposite goal, but the one that you're supposed to hit. But if you look at expert soccer players, they will hit the ball from the penalty corner, which takes a curved path that goes into the goal. Now, there is no magic in it. It's actually some beautiful physics, and I think I want, I urge all of you to go and look at it. It's also the reason why People produce in-swingers and out-swingers in cricket. A ball which is supposed to, the batsman thinks it's going outside the off stump. That's how it's coming. But then it swings in. It's again a similar reason. So I hope uh, events like this will um, excite you to look into what's going on around you and uh, come out with some explanation. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Dwarka.